Hey, what's up, guys? It's JQ from ShootPalace.com. I'm sitting right here next to Tony D2 Wild. What's guys, going on? What's going on? You guys, for sure, for sure know him. And we're just going to ask him a couple questions. You guys can sit here and enjoy uh, the wonderful answers he's going to have for you guys. So first things first, man, is what's your life like as a sneaker collector and a sneaker content creator? I mean, really, man, it's, it's like it just makes life a lot about sneakers and just fashion and everything about it. Like, you're really in tune with a community of people that are all very, you know, very similar interests. And it's like you just get connected with a group of people that you don't even know that may live across the country. It brings a group of people together. And, and just being a content creator like that, it just, you know, you're just constantly involved with the sneakers and, and brands. And, and just you it you, you feel real in tune with something special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, what would you say is like the most interesting person you've met so far through this whole Journey. Uh, probably Bull, Bull RC, because I mean, I met him like right in the beginning, and then like, you know, uh, we just after that, we both grew up on our channel separately, but then created a brand, and we both just grew along the way to where we at now. We're working with these companies like Shoe Palace, and we've worked with like Nike and and Pumas and cool, and Saucony. Cool. So we both like started very similar positions and just grown in life along the way. You right. know? That's awesome. So what are some common misconceptions uh, with you being a sneakerhead and like kind of this sneaker content creator? Um, the biggest mix misconception I feel like is a lot of people from the outside, people that have been probably doing sneakers, just, there's people from the outside, they seem to think, you know, because a lot of people t are very in tune with the YouTube on the social media market that they think that people like me are, you know, are glorified and that we feed off of that you know mm -hmm. me personally i'm just a regular person like at the end of the day i'm just like anybody else and i'm an example that you can be anybody and be something by just being yourself i never try to portray myself as some like god or something like that but a lot of people will seem to feel like as a content creator because we get a lot of views and a lot of right, support right, from right. our people that we're just these gods and that right. we boast and you know stick out with our chest we're right, nothing right. like that whatsoever so we're talking about how you have pretty much that mass audience following at the moment. What is some advice that you would have for someone who's kind of idolizes you or tries to follow in your footsteps? Um, honestly, the, the quicker you start in doing it, you know, the the the, the, be the better. You know, don't a lot of people like to sit back and wait and find that perfect time. I feel like you got to go at it as soon as possible. And one thing is also is you got to you got to be you have to have the love for it because when I first started, I, I didn't I didn't start like thinking you know knowing that. There was going to be money or anything involved. I kind of just did it for the love of the sneakers. And, and after a while, those things came along with it. So if you're just going straight in for the money, you're going to, you're going to be very disappointed because the money ain't going to be there. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it could take forever. It may never, it may never come. Not for every, it's not always meant for everybody. Mm -hmm. But I would just say, you know, stay focused on your dreams, on what you want to do. And, and don't listen to people, but don't listen to everybody because, if you were to listen to everybody, you won't. You know, if I was to listen to everybody, I wouldn't be where I was at. But I did listen to some people and take advice at the same time. So you just got to balance that. Stay focused. Keep going. Knock out, you know, block out the haters. And you'll be fine in anything you do. Not yeah. just sneaker, really. You could be, if you want to do videos on something else or just yeah. anything you got, you know, a goal you're striving for. Did you have any moment of hesitation when you were first starting off? Yeah, well, I, like I said, for, for, for the first couple years, you know, like... It was just a it was just a hobby. It wasn't like a, a way like a, something that would become a full time job. It was right, just like right. a hobby. But then once it became something like that, it was a point where I had to make a decision where like do I want to go full into this or do I want to like just have it still as a hobby? Right, and right. you had to make that decision at one point. And then you know I, I said you know what I'm you made go. the right one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then now we're here. Thanks, man. I really appreciate you taking the time to come out for here sure, sure. Uh, from Shoe Palace. I'm JQ. Do you have anything to say to the people before we take off? Hey, thank the people of Shoe Palace for having me on. It's your boy Tony D2 Wild, man. If you have dreams of any doing things like you know sneaker related or content created on youtube just continue doing your thing and there's never a perfect time to start start right now that's the perfect time to start matter of fact great advice man yeah. cool thank you man. thank you That was our sit down with Tony D2 Wild. Next week, June 1st, we will bring you the last installment of Ask the Sneakerhead with the Sneaker Life Mike. Make sure to subscribe, and here's a quick clip of the interview to come. A smart way, you know, it's not all about sneakers. Like, life isn't all about sneakers. I think that's the biggest advice I can, like, I tell people not to be like me, but be better.